So today I'll be showing you how to easily place elements behind your subject in Final Cut Pro 10 without the use of a green screen or any crazy masking and keyframing. So what we're going to do is separate the subjects from the added elements. So once you have your clip shot, you're going to duplicate it and place it above the other one. We'll be working on the top clip here. Now you can use the draw mask tool and keyframe it around your subject to be really, really precise. That's how I usually do it when I do have more time to play around with the keyframing. And you can still do it this way if you want. But really, you can just place it around your subject using the draw mask tool without having to be too precise with it. We can easily fix everything afterwards. Okay, so now that we've drawn around our subject, we just need to find some type of overlay that we want to use to throw behind our subject. I have this magical Christmas particles, which I will speed up a little bit so that it will match the movement. You'll see that it's a bit off, so we'll just adjust the feathering to around negative 240, negative 250. You can definitely play around with this and it'll probably be different depending on what clip you're using and your project. Then I'll just move around the key points a bit until it looks right. If you're moving a lot within the frame, you can keyframe it to follow your movement. It will add a bit more to the process, but it's still fairly quick and easy. So the key part for this whole thing is the feathering for the draw mask tool. Since we changed the number drastically and blended it in, you won't notice a lot of the imperfections. Subscribe if you like this tutorial. Make sure to give this video a watch here if you want to learn more about masking.